Schizophrenia is a mental illness which is present in about 1% of the population. About one-third of people who are diagnosed with schizophrenia are treatment resistant and do not respond to the usual antipsychotic treatment that people receive. These people are prescribed clozapine, which is the most successful antipsychotic in treating the positive symptoms of the condition. However, another 60% of people will not respond to treatment with clozapine, meaning that there's still a lot to learn about how we can improve treatment in individuals who have schizophrenia. The gut microbiome, or the microorganisms that reside in the human gut, have been implicated in both physical and mental illness, including schizophrenia. So my lab and I wanted to investigate whether the gut microbiome was also specifically implicated in treatment-resistant schizophrenia and how people respond to treatment. We also wanted to look at some uh, adverse side effects related to antipsychotic medication. And importantly, we wanted to look whether associations between the gut microbiome and schizophrenia are persistent even when we incorporate data on lifestyle, such as diet and physical exercise, and also medication and other demographic factors which are associated with gut microbiome composition. If gut microbiome changes are present before treatment with clozapine, this means that there might be a gut microbiome composition which is associated in a signature of treatment resistance in schizophrenia. However, it is also possible that clozapine is changing the gut microbiome. Future longitudinal studies will be needed to disentangle this issue.